Police say the boy was of Iraqi Kurdish background and was born in Iran. It's understood he was living in Parramatta, had no criminal history and wasn't on police radar. New South Wales police have now launched Strike Force Fellows to undertake a comprehensive investigation into the incident. But they say they are still a long way from establishing a full picture of the gunman and his true motives. We're exploring every avenue with regard to why he did what he did. Um, we had no information that this individual posed this type of threat. New details have also emerged about the victim of the shocking attack. Curtis Cheng was a 17-year veteran of the finance department within the New South Wales Police Force. He was shot at close range, just minutes after leaving police headquarters. He was a much-loved man, um, been with us a long time. I don't think I've ever heard anyone have a bad word about Curtis uh, and he will be missed. Premier Mike Baird and Commissioner Scipioni have also acknowledged the bravery of the three special constables who responded to the incident, advancing on the shooter to remove the threat and putting their own lives on the line to protect their colleagues. And their bravery, I believe, uh, saved uh, other lives and we should pay tribute to them and I think it's a, a reminder to all of us uh, of what our police do uh, on a daily basis. They put their lives at risk. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull says the tragedy underlines the importance of communities and leaders being aware of whether young people are becoming radicalised. This appears to have been an act of politically motivated violence. So at this stage it appears to have been an act of terrorism. It is a shocking crime. It was a cold-blooded murder targeting the New South Wales Police Service. It was doubly shocking because it was perpetrated by a 15-year-old boy. It is critical at sad times such as this that we don't let the voices of division and disunity fill the national conversation. We are always stronger and safer when we stand together. We are a great nation. Commonwealth agencies are now working with New South Wales Police as part of the investigation. They've urged anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Dan Murphy, Sky News, Sydney.